Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the tutorial where I show you how to easily add in a landscape and grass to your tutorial. Thanks for watching! Please be sure to like and subscribe and help us in that YouTube algorithm. So as you can see, we now have a landscape full of grass and it looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. Doesn't look too bad, okay? So the next thing we need to do is, well, add in a forest. So how do we do that? Well, what I've done here is I've added in the interactive spruce, which I added in earlier in the first video of this series, okay? So what I've done here is let's go into the folder here, message, we're gonna use full because there's different sizes in this particular pack. And by the way, when you're working with different art assets, it's gonna be different every single time. You know, if you have, let's say, a sci-fi modular kit, if you buy two or three of them, then they might be different each time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the full and then I'm going into the low here and I'm just going to use the low one uh, for now. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply drag that over here. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm un going to unselect this grass here. And I'm going to add in, well, the trees. Okay. So let's zoom out and then let's just put in some trees. Now let's, <laughs> let's go run that here. Now this is a bit too much <laughs> trees. All right. Now not only is would that never happen in real life, but it just it's not really practical for the game. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just change this all the way to one. Okay. And let's go ahead and add in a few there. Okay. So remember, if you are going to add in foliage to your uh, to your game. You want to pick a realistic location, so maybe research a few biomes as to which one you want to, to work with. Um, that way, it will be a lot better and, well, be a lot more realistic, okay? So there's a couple things that we need to, to think about here. So let's change the size to something that's pretty big, and, you know, you can kind of do this if you want. And I'll just undo that a couple times. Okay. And then you can see that that does work, but if you really want something a little bit smaller, you can maybe put that in here, etc. I'm just going to do that here. And now, as you can see, we now have, well, the characters in a tree, but this is starting to look a little bit better. Now, by the way, you know, if you are going to do an actual landscape one, it's going to be a lot different. Uh, you're going to have to add in a lot more to just make this work. And by the way, spruces and grasslands don't usually go together. Okay. So as you can see, that does work out pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, delete that, and then I'm going to actually drag in all three of these. Okay, so let's drag them in here, and then let's select all three of these at the same time here, making sure the grass is unselected. And I'm going to add in one here, and you can see that now we have a slightly better forest. Okay, and there we go. Okay, and you know, we now have three different types of trees. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo that here, and if it'll let me undo it all, and it won't let me undo it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete all these instances here. Uh, yeah, delete these 48 instances, and then I'm gonna just simply drag that back. Okay, so as you can see, if you really wanted to, um, you know, if you wanted to add in 0 0.5 as the density here, if you wanted to make a simple forest path, you can absolutely do it. Okay, so you just simply do this, and there you go. And that works out pretty well, right? And so you can see here that you have a forest path, and you can kind of walk through. And this something is this is something that you can communicate to the player here, right? Um, you can communicate this here. Um, that it's, it's indeed a path here, and you can make the, the foliage as thick as you want. Let's hop back quickly into the select mode here, and let's take a look at what happens when you uh, when you um, when you add things on a terrain here. So sometimes the trees themselves they get put at these really weird angles, 
here. So you, you do have to be able to select um, some trees here and then you might be able, you might have to rotate and you can actually select the tree. And this one's kind of a bit difficult to do. Um, but if we, um, but you can select the trees if you wish. Um, and if you do select the trees, you can kind of move them around uh, if you wish, right? So for the most part, that's how you add trees to your game. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.